The head of Iran's space agency Hassan Solaria has said that Iran is set to launch a satellite into space in the coming months. A satellite is prepared to be put in space, Hassan Solaria told Irab and predicted that as a result of the launch team's good efforts, the satellite would be launched in the Iranian autumn season. Almost without being active in space, the sovereignty of countries is questionable, and the states are unable to have full sovereignty, he underlined. Management in the agricultural sector, which is associated with people's food security, will be highly costly and extremely incomplete without being active in space programs, he added. He also referred to the important role of space services in dealing with traffic and transportation. Security issues and monitoring of a country's borders without being present in space are slow and very incomplete, he further noted. It is essential to make use of the capacities of space in maintaining full security in the borders of the country, he pointed out. He underlined the role of being active in space in monitoring meteorological conditions and dust storms. Elsewhere in his remarks, he touched upon the effectiveness of space-related activities in managing subsidence, drought, and water resources as well as identifying unlawful constructions in mountains and forest resources and control of biological species. Iran launched its first satellite Ahmed, Hope, in 2009 and its RASID, Observation, satellite was sent into orbit in 2011. Earlier in April 2022, Iranian Minister of Communications and Information Technology, Ikt, Issa Zarapur, said that the Islamic Republic of Iran will be turned into one of the main exporters of space-related services in the region in the very near future. We have several satellites at hand for launching into orbit. The Islamic Republic of Iran should soon become one of the exporters of space services to the region and Islamic countries, because we are one of the top 10 countries that can build homegrown satellites. These satellites are also launched with a domestically produced launcher, the IC minister added. Meanwhile, a member of the Iranian parliament's Energy Commission, Faradin Abbasi Devani, said that the 13th government under President Ebrahim Raisi is seriously determined to develop the space industry and is pursuing the development of space technology diligently. In June 2020, a spokesman for the Iranian Defense Ministry, Sayyid Ahmed Hosseini, said that the Zuljana satellite launch vehicle has been tested again for research purposes. Zuljana, also spelled Zuljana, was made by the Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics and was unveiled on 1 February 2021. Also, IRGC Aerospace launched the Nur-2 satellite by the domestically built launcher CAST, Messenger, on March 8, 2022, and placed it into orbit at an altitude of 500 kilometers. The mission of the satellite is reconnaissance, and it was placed in orbit after 480 seconds at a speed of 6.7 km per second. Referring to the successful launch of the newer satellite, Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi termed a significant move taken by scientists of the country in achieving advanced technology very valuable and honorable, and said that achieving this technology is one of the manifestations of national authority. On June 26, 2022 Iran also conducts second test of satellite launcher as nuclear talks said set to resume. Iran tested out its Zuljana satellite launcher on Sunday. The second of three tests scheduled for the long-range ballistic launcher, which the US fears could be used to launch nuclear warheads. The test, reported by Iranian state TV, comes a day after European top officials said talks on reviving the nuclear deal with Tehran would resume within days. The rocket's name, Zuljana, comes from the name of the horse of Imam Hussein, the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad. It weighs 52 tons, is 25.5 meters in length, and can carry loads of up to 220 kilograms at an orbit of 500 kilometers above the surface, according to a report by Iran's semi-official Fars news agency. The third development phase of the Zuljana satellite launcher will be based on a combination of information gained during today's launch, a defense ministry spokesperson was cited by Reuters as saying Sunday. 
Iran first acknowledged the planned tests for the Zuljana satellite launcher on June 15, after satellite images taken by Maxer Technologies showed preparations of a launch pad at Imam Khomeini spaceport in Iran's rural Semnan province. The site of frequent recent failed attempts to put a satellite into orbit. One set of images showed a rocket on a transporter, preparing to be lifted and put on a launch tower. A later image showed the rocket apparently on the tower. A spokesperson of Iran's defense ministry responded to the published images by saying the tests would be conducted for research purposes, according to Fars News Agency.